blood. Vechitim in the mechasenu. Okay, so he walks over to where it uh, drops down, and he covers the blood. What's the big deal? Says Vamar Abzeir Amarav. Abzeir says the name of Rav Hashaychet Tzarich Shitna for Lamata Vafel Lamayla. He has to have dirt below and dirt above. Shenemar Vechiseu Bit Afar Afar Lai Nemar Ela Bit Afar in the in the dirt. Malamit Shashaychet Tzarich Shitin Afar Lamata Vafel Lamayla. You have to have dirt below and above. And he just shot a bird in the air. I granted you can cover it over, but what about beforehand? So it says the Masman Lai La Afar the Kula Piska. No, he prepared all of the dirt in that area. Mm. Is this his concern? He just shot a bat, bird out of the air? His whole concern is Kisei Afer? Yeah. The question is, how did they, how did they practice this? <laughs> yeah. So we, this, this case has now come up a couple of times, and we keep coming back with the same question, which is, don't you have to go back and forth? Right. Ah. Uh. Well, so I see. I saw the Rajbar writes that um, in defense of the blood. Yeah. You know, from a uh, first aid point of view, you know they say like, don't pull out the arrow; the uh-huh. person's going to bleed. Uh-huh. So Kozman that the uh, the arrow was in the blood in the bird. There was no bleeding up oh. in the ear when he came uh-huh. down, and pulled it out. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Have to worry about. That's interesting. That's interesting. The Rashi says over here, well, it's two things. First of all, the Rajba um, says that maybe Shasat Khan, it's not, I'm sorry, it's not the Rajba. In the Paiskim, they say that, um, that if Shasat Chak is like a Dievid, be Dievid, you don't, Lachatkili is supposed to go back and forth. Uh, but be Dievid, if you didn't go back and forth, it's kosher. So here, if it's a shasat chak, this was the only way of getting the bird. It's nothing to eat. Uh, it's erifim kipper, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> so this is the only way. So that would be uh, that would be considered that would be considered after the fact, even though it's before the fact. It's considered a shasat chak could be sometimes considered after the fact. Um, there's two interpretations of Rashi where he prepares the. Uh, it's not two inter- Rashi gives two options. Either he he. It crumbled up all the dirt in this area because the dirt needs to be soft and it needs to be crumbled. Or it was already crumbled up, it was soft, but he had to designate it in saying that this is going to be designated for, um, for Kisei Adam, which is a big discussion in the place game if you really need to designate uh, the dirt for Kisei Adam. Hoya Shreichet Vihitis. New case. He was shechting, and he cuts off the head. He said that that's acceptable if the knife is uh, the width of the the, the length of a, another neck. Amar Reb Zeirah When it says the width of a neck, v'chutz l'tzavar, and it's and it goes out of the neck. That means the knife is as long as the neck, plus a teensy drop. The havalu. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't finish it. Um, no, Amar Rab Zeir Malay Tzavar V'chutz L'Tzavar. Rab Zeir says it means the, the length of the neck plus outside the neck. Iboilu, the yeshiva has a question. Malay Tzavar V'chutz L'Tzavar K'malay Tzavar. When it says it needs to go out of the neck, is it a full neck again? So that means two necks. The Havalu Trey Tzavari, that would mean that it's two necks. This, the length of two necks. Aydil Ma Malay Tzavar V'chutz L'Tzavar Mashu. Or maybe it's only the length of one neck plus a teensy drop. Now, I translated in the Mishnah that it's two because I saw the Gemara, but here it's uh, the Gemara has a question. Toshima, come and listen. I'm going to bring a proof. If he's shechting, and he cuts off two heads in one go. If it's the size of one neck, it's valid. My malayt tzavar echad. What is it? One neck. He just cut two necks. And now one neck is good enough. Ilay my malayt tzavar echad v'su v'su lai. If he means just one neck, has to be behema achas be'inan malayt tzavar v'chutz l'tzavar. When it's one animal and you're only going in one direction, you need more than one neck. B'shtei behema sagilu k'malayt tzavar echad. With two animals, you only need one neck. In one animal, you need one plus. 
l'shnei tzavarim. When it says that you need the size of a neck, it means besides for the necks that you're cutting, you need an extra neck. That means that because where he's going, he needs that area to be able to to cut in. Now, Taisus, you follow? Shechita is preferably supposed to be bad before, right. correct? Right. We've also learned that the Shechita, one way it's okay to. Right. Is that Bidi Evid? Bidi Evid, right. Okay. So in this case, why can't you ask the question, I, but when I'm Shechit, two necks, which is two Shechitas, it's, it's almost like there was a. I don't know what word to say. A uh, pause? Yeah, that. This shrita was never really complete. I then did this second shrita, which was complete. No, and now it comes that's back not what it's it. saying. Let's say the guy he takes whether it's in his own hand or he has someone holding it, but he takes two 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 birds or two animals or somehow, and he has this knife, and he just slaughters them both just like that, just like that in one go. So the Mishnah says that it's valid if the knife had both, had had the size of both necks plus another neck. The Mishnah didn't say that clearly. What the Mishnah said is, if it has the width of a neck, then it's valid. He said, the width of one neck? What does it mean, the width of a neck? So he said, no, it's the width of one neck plus the two necks that were already there. That's how we're interpreting. That means that when Reb Zayra tells us that it needs to be the width of a neck outside, it, it, it's talking about it, when it needs to be the width of a neck outside the neck, that means that it needs to be a full neck, uh, full size. Okay. It means that if you're cutting two animals, you need the, the, the knife needs to be the length of three necks. Taisus points out that l'chayra, it seems, that you would have to start it, like let's say this is two animals. If you start shechting right here, then the second one is going to get all of the cutting, and the first one not, right? Start it here, you start cutting. You would have to start it here. Right to start cutting to get that all of them but then then you would only need two necks anyway so it sounds like you're starting it here so anyway Tysus just says that you don't actually have to use this whole thing it could be the knife is very sharp and it cuts in much less than that even with one little thing it could be a cut all the way in and the whole sheet is over it doesn't you, you, the knife needs to be that size but it doesn't mean that that's how you have to actually go through the cutting okay when do we say this is an issue? If he goes in one direction, he doesn't bring it bring it back. Amar of Menashe. One second, there's a chulu there. A chulu. Uh, what it, can say, it says is, but if he goes back and forth, then we don't need uh, any uh, uh, length. Even if, if it's a tiny blade, that's also going to be acceptable because he's going back and forth. It could be a tiny blade. We're referring to a blade that doesn't have serrated, not serrated. corners on it, which, which could be an issue of serrated at the edges, because it could be that the blade, they used to have a small, uh, the small scalpel had some sort of horns, they called it, that went out that told you where to stop or something. So, Amalei Rav Achabrei Rav Avila Rav Menashe, Mechdamai. What's the, the concern with the kanayim is, is that maybe the, the, those horns will, those points will prick. Or do halada, they'll be inserted in the wrong place. What about a, a, a needle? Can you use a needle? Amalei machta mivza baza. That's going to pierce. Who is saying, saying this? This is Rav Achabrei de Ravav Yisrael, Rav Menashe. A nail you can't use. Oh, the fingernail? No, remember there was yeah, we had a discussion there. with the finger. Oh, oh an actual nail? nail? Yeah, I don't remember the nail. Maybe they were saying like a claw. Maybe it was Oh, to use, uh, to hold an animal. Aha, uh-huh, we did have that. We said it was attached. But the Gemara now asks, Machta de Ushkefi Mai. What about a Machta de Ushkefi? This is a, um, uh, a leather, what's it called? It, it's oh. an awl, but it's using. Yeah, for um, a, co- a cobbler. That's, no, it's for shoes cobbler. specifically. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So here it doesn't. Rashi doesn't tell me it's a cobbler. Rashi says uh, just someone that's a tanner. So 
Um, what about that? And apparently it must have been a little wider if, that, if we're asking a question. Rashi says that it was used to cut stitches. Not actually to go through the leather, but to cut the stitches in the leather. I'm imagining it's something that would look like a file. But... Oh, okay. I, I, I like the, not the old one, I like the other one because that has a little bit of a width to it. You see, a, a little... This is according to Rashi, this is according to the Ram. To the Ram. To the Ram. Oh, to the run. Okay. So it says the point. The whole the whole thing is that the tip is not pointing. Therefore, it's not punctured. Uh huh. So Amalei Tanina, we learned this in the Mishnah. A filu kolshu, even if it's tiny, that's going to be acceptable. My love, machta de ushkapi. Must be, even if it's the uh, the all of a uh, of a cobbler. It says light ismos, referring to only a uh, scalpel. Ismol behead yiktanila. That says clearly that you can use a scalpel. The Gemara explains Purushi Kamafarish. When it says, my culture, when it says that you can use a, uh, the smallest amount, what's it referring to? Ismol, it's referring to a, a, a scalpel. It says that it could be any size. Filu Ismol, that's an explanation for what the any size could be. But smaller than that, no. Hachinam Mistab, it also makes sense to say this. These alkadaita because if it would enter your mind machta de ushkapi, that it's referring to a, all the a cobbler's all, hashta machta de sharia. If a cobbler's all could be used, which is so small, ismal mi bai, does it have to say afilu ismal, that even a scalpel? It shouldn't have said that, because you can use something that's even smaller than that. The Gemara says no. Ismal is trichalai. It still has to tell me an ismal. Kasal kadait chamina, I could have thought. Ligzer ismal shein le kanayim, at ismal sheish le kanayim. That ismal is a problem because the ismal sometimes has horns. It has these little pieces that stick out. And I could have thought that even one that doesn't stick out, I would make a gzera because maybe you're going to use one that ha- that's flat. It, maybe you, that, I, you can't use one that's flat because maybe you're going to use one that take that has those uh, points sticking out, and that could be a problem. So Kamash Malan, that even an Ismal, you're, that an Ismal you are allowed to use, but not to, because of its size, because for its size I could use something even smaller. I can even use a, a, a cobbler's all. What's the Chiddush of Afilu Ismal, that even a Ismal is because sometimes that could have points sticking out. It doesn't fit so well into the Mishnah, because the Mishnah is discussing the size, and then it says even that. But okay. Nafla sak in Vishakta. This mission I think was quoted before. Not, uh, on the side it's not telling this to me though. If a knife fell and it's slaughtered, Afalpisha Shachta Kidarka Psula. Even though it's shechted properly, got the job done, it's puzzle. Shnemar Vizavachta Vachalta. You will slaughter. And you will eat. Mashata Zivehata Echel, what you slaughter you can eat. But it, not when it happens on its own. The Gemara explains time of What's the reason why there's a problem? Is because it fell. Ha'hi but if he caused it to fall, he dropped it. Kshera, that would be valid. even though he he did not intend to do shechita, it just fell. He was carrying it and it fell. He didn't intend it while it was falling. Oops, it uh, it shechted. Man tanad kavan Who's the one that holds? That you don't need kavana for shechita. I'm a Rava Reb Nassan here. Rava says it's Reb Nassan. The Tani Oishe Ziri Demin Chevraya, because Oishe the small one, which was called from one of the friends of the yeshiva, one of the yeshiva members. That's one interpretation of Rashi. Other interpretation is the small one of the people in the yeshiva. Oishe wasn't small; he was a small from the yeshiva. That's in stature and knowledge. <laughs> Or it, it must have been young, I, it, youngest. youngest. That's it, probably. I never knew it says that uh, Hillel had 80 students. What does it say? Rabbi Yechonim Mitzakai says was the smallest. I don't know what it means. And, and Yenison ben was the was the greatest. I don't know if that means he was the youngest. <coughs> I, when they, when the way it was taught to me was that Yenison ben Azil was the greatest. Yechonim Mitzakai was the least. But uh, then I, I read it again, and it could be that he was just the youngest. Doesn't mean that. which, 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 yeah. 
it makes a big difference how you learn that. I mean, it's like it's sort of the opposite. So Oishya Zirid Min Chavraya says, "Zorak Sakin Lenatza Bekaisel." We quoted this before. Someone throws a knife, so it should get stuck in the wall. Baholcha v'shachta kedarka, and it went in a shechted. Rav Nassan Machshiv v'chacham Paislim. It uh, Rav Nassan says that it's valid. So even though he didn't intend to shecht, Rav Nassan holds that you don't need intention. Who tanila v'hu amrla? Now Rava, that's quoting this. He says halacha k'Rav Nassan. He says the halacha is like Rav Nassan. The Gemara asks v'amr Rava chaduzim. Now Rava said that the halacha is like Rav Nassan somewhere else. The Tanan. It was taught in the Mishnah. But kulin shashach to all people that shech. Bachirim rayin oisan. This is our first Mishnah. Even though they're not. They're, they're not supposed to shech. Echeira shaita v'katan, it's referring to. Shechitas and kshera. It's still valid, because other people are watching them. V'amrin and man tana d'leibay kavana l'shechita. Who holds that they don't need kavana? V'amr Rav Rav Nasani. Rav says it's Rav Nasan. So we know that Rav Nasan is this one that holds this. So the way Rashi puts this is that the Mishnah, the Stam Mishnah is Rav Nasan here. Why does Rashi have to go through each of these Stam Mishnayas? Anonymous Mishnayas, and tell me this is Reb Nassan, this is Reb Nassan. He already said that that Rebbe set up the Mishnah in, in this way that the anonymous one was Reb was Reb Nassan. Tricha, it's necessary. The Ashmin and Hasam, if we would only say by Yecher Shaiti Bekatan Mishnah to come a Chavon Hashem Chaticha Bailam, they are trying to cut. They don't. They don't have the. Uh, they're lacking something, but they're still trying to cut. It's a, a deaf mute, a, a child. They're trying to cut. Aval hacha, but here where he's here he's dropping it. <coughs> so the loy kamechavin, he's not in, has no intention. A malaya would say that that's no good. So he has to tell me again that Reb Nassan says that it's good. Biashmin and hachiv would say here mishum dekasi mikayach ben das. It's coming from someone that could actually do the shechita. Right here he's not intending, but the person that's doing it is acceptable. But over there it's coming from someone that's not acceptable. So I would say that that's no good. So Tzricha, has to tell me both cases. Okay. Let's try to turn the page. Itmar. It was taught. Nida shenen sevetavla. If a woman, that's a nida, and she's forced into the mikveh, and she goes, she's pushed under the water. I'm Rabbi Yudam Arav. I can uh, see, see this happening, a yeah, woman yeah. that's not uh, keeping the laws properly and she's in Meisharim or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tahira Lebesa, she's pure to her husband, Vasur Lechel Betruma, but she can't eat Truma. Rabbi Yechonan Amar Af Lebesa Leitera. We're discussing intention here. That's, that's what we're de- dealing with. Yeah. Uh, Rabbi Yechonan says she's not even pure for her husband. Amalei Rav Rav Nachman, Rav says to Rav Nachman, Rav Damar Tahira Lebesa, According to Rav, that says that she's pure for her husband, but she's not allowed to eat truma. It's one second. Avain karis. When it comes to the husband, which is karis, a need to live, it's very severe. Hutra, that you say is acceptable. But isr misa mibai. When it comes to truma, which is less, karis is stricter than misa bide shemayim. It's not misa, uh, best than misa. It's misa bide shemayim. It's two death penalties from heaven, and karis is considered more strict. So, on several accounts, but so Amalei by lechulin who vechulin le by kavana. He responded that the husband is mundane, and, not, and for mundane things, the mikveh doesn't require intention. Oh. For kachim, it does. Oh. I have to stop. We'll start. We'll stop over here. Okay. okay. But, uh, big shear on Sunday. Big shear on Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Oh,